Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. This has been in a perfect world with Flash and Benny. <laughs> Yeah, we're hey, it's almost uh, 20 minutes into the hour, so uh, uh, well, that gun buttons, you know, they'll do it every time. Hey, you're amazing. Let's say hello to the bots and bodies right here on reallibertymedia.com. We're over. It's wonderful, wonderful, I tell you. Yeah, I'm. About making up new sounds, I've, I've gotten pretty good with with uh, new words. So I'm, yeah. Oh, new sounds, yeah. It's a, it's a... Ooh, that was kind of one. There's a barman. Hello, Mister Barman. <laughs> Don is not a radio station. Grimner, he was just coming on in yeah, here, and he helped his little children's. Uh, his little retarded children being flashed. Hey, Moosey, Kate, and DC, and Anti. I, he's not Anti, but Aunt I. Asmo, is of course, at the other end. Beth C. up in the, uh, Canada. It's like the opposite of Florida. And a duh. <laughs> Chalcedony Echelon. There's Graham Z. I bet she's out there pulling weeds or something. Uh, there's Mr. Master Brow and some Ponder Gander. On the rain and Rob works. It groans. Uh, Vanna White, Bono White, and the weather dork. Uh, we've got Phantom and Beetle. Oh, that's 101 with a delicious bowl of cyber noodle soup right there with Flash somebody and Frumpy. Gooberzilla, also known as the Hawkster. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and Gromit. Gromit. Making sure there's no leaks. You fired him in a special bop, bop. Dirt, dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Flash, can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Your your voice is not coming through. Who on, on the on this Well no, your mic's fine. I'm hearing you right now, but it's not coming through on the broadcaster, so your broadcaster settings need to be changed. Yeah. It's 420 somewhere, baby. Puff, puff, puff. I wonder if you can this live. I don't. See, you got nothing here. What you got to do? Uh, yeah. I'm just going to do stuff to him. What are you doing? Stop. The thing is, I'm Do sitting something. here silently smoking a cigarette and Sorry, mumbling jumble jamble all over the place. Hmm. Why, why it's not clicking? It See, it's something went majorly wrong all right. one minute all right. before the show. Right now, you're good to go. Oh, he fixed right, it. Bye. 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 Now here. Wow, that was then good. That was Dang. our special guest, Tech Man Grimner, fixing the show. <laughs> Thanks, Grimner. <laughs> See why I always thank him in the beginning, uh, way ahead of time, because he's always going to save my ass somewhere down the road. Anyway. Hey, we left off <clears throat> at, at uh, Java Doctor 2, mm. and JJ's 9, followed by Kozu and Carl Marx. He's got pawn sauce all over it. Inside his sock puppet, just so silly. Boat. Van Meter, Miss Donna, and there's Vanny White. Uh, that's another Vinny cuss up there. So we've got plenty of bots and bodies, and say howdy to them right here at duty RLM radio. XY is Z. So I'm pretty sure our uh, our fabulous uh, bot over at uh, Twitter has uh, given the announcement that. We're on the radio. <laughs> Again, take two. Well, that was fun. I have no idea what I did, but he clicked some stuff and it seemed to work. But I think my, my microphone's on its last leg. Is yeah, what it is. Poking around in your pooter and fixed it for you. Well, let's let's hope it holds up. If it doesn't, you host and do the do the notes. Ah. Anyway, uh, we were we were on a 
epic rant, me and you, on Bundy Saturday. And, and well, huh? I, I'm kind of stuck, and I wasn't thinking that you were – that you were getting what I was trying to say, but then I listened back to the show and what you were doing, far as I understand now, was just making sure people knew that it was very fucking violent. It just was done covertly, and the press lied about it. Yeah, you know, everybody was surrounded. They they act like they were outnumbered, these guys at the gate, but they had snipers all around, uh, and they were ready to start shooting people, but fortunately there was enough... Uh, eyewitnesses and it was such a yeah. place where people are driving over on the bridge that uh, uh you know thankfully that uh too much traffic too many witnesses see that's why i'm against all this dishonesty in the first place because it always breeds all the secret deals and like the like the um, 5g thing right the the manufacturers of this god-awful nightmare have gone behind the scenes over the past and had the laws written so that they can't be approached in court and they can continue with their evil plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's crazy. Now, um, now, Navarro kicked... Oh, you wanted it. Okay, go ahead. I will calm down. Uh, so she kicks the charges out and then... Oh, I should, I should probably have this. I need to actually collect this into uh, uh, part of my record, but... These people have got thousands of, of uh, likes and shares by the a dozen anyways of uh, wrong information. I could go over and find that. They, they're saying stuff that's not even true. And people then repeat it. You know, it's like, oh, yes, uh, the Supreme Court uh, dismissed, uh, you know, vindicated the Cowboys and this and that. And dismissed the charges and I mean uh, overturned. They don't even know what they're talking about. And people just carry on. And that's what we get is a bunch of uh, parrots. And right. That's correct. what were you expecting? Parrots. Well, that's what you got. That's, what I that's exactly what you got there, Bosco. You should be happy. Thank you. I'm scrolling down over here. I said something, but I want to make sure I said it. Oh. Say it right. Uh, I, I, I've got a lot to do with uh, this week. Of, uh, you know, this stuff is like what they said was wrong. Now all of a sudden it's right kind of thing in the government. And even the, the media, like the times and what New York times and Washington times, I think it is, are, are posting stories that uh, favor, we'll call them the cowboy way. Uh, yeah. Here's one. Meanwhile, the university of Wyoming is facing a leftist uprising over its new slogan. The world needs more cowboys. <laughs> That's what it needs. Okay. Boy, yeah. we're in deep shit then, aren't we? Yeah. Because um, nobody knows anything. Everybody knows a little bit about some stuff, but not not what we need to know, I don't think. I think we're being screwed. That is my final decision about my observations of life. You know what I came up with? No. In this response to this uh this little cute guy i won't call them trolls but whatever <laughs> <Trolls>. <laughs> you know, they, they take on the, this alternative person you know i play around with the mini vinnies but uh, they're all real and they're all me uh, so I, I say i say to bundy for stone they see they've taken on the persona of roger stone being you know a bundy supporter when uh, I suspect who it may be, but anyways, they like to pretend to have the fun with me, and I do the same for them. But I tell them there's a difference between defending freedom. And, let me try it again. There's a difference between defending freedom and offending it. The difference between standing in the gap and creating a gauntlet. The difference being right from wrong. So when these uh, when these militia guys go to uh, stand in the gap for Bundy or go up there and uh, you know, Aki, do an occupational trespass of the Malheur Refuge up there. Uh, it, it's, uh, they're standing in the gap there. They're defending rights. Now, when you go down and you get people like Little Dog and this Screwy Louie and this other guy they've caught down there that goes by uh, Johnny Hart Harton Jr., uh, I don't know this guy, but I just a little bit I've seen of him, I, I imagine it would be the same type of evil uh 
pe per people that I find that the little dog and, and Scurdy Louie are and want to go down there and set traps and, you know, go to gunpoint people that uh, uh, are seeking uh, another way of life. And um, unfortunately, this has all been political political sized and probably, you know, promoted for sending more and more people. They're trying to, of course, create the problem so they can give you the solution for it. Well, I see how that's very similar to my big problem I have with 5G. Tell me. Well, it seems to me that these people work in blocks of years, 10, 20, 30, 40 years to get laws in place. You're right. For the future, so that when something is brought to the attention of the system, the system can point it to these outdated guidelines that don't apply anymore and say, well, they're within the safety zone guidelines of the so-and-so. And then right. the average moron doesn't know that most of these, well, most, all of these government agencies are f private businesses surviving in the world. <laughs> they think they really work for the government. No, they don't. This is this is a scam of scams by the greatest liars on the planet. They've all gathered together to fuck us all, and they're doing it. And like you said, you know, people don't know what's going on, and they just go, okay, and repeat what they hear. That's why I was yeah. given so much shit this, today about this freaking link that Grimm posted about... Two American military. I forget what branch it was. No, but they're, they're, they're Border Patrol, I do okay. believe. No, no, no. They said they were military, that they were put down on the border as part of a, an ongoing project in pairs, in un, you know unmarked cars. But they don't tell the enemy this. You know, the Mexicans don't know this. Right? Well, how did the Mexicans come over across the uh, here? And then they had this sketchy shit about how the border is not necessarily defined in a straight line by the dirt. So yeah. uh, it, it reeks of fucking bullshit to me. I never met a Marine that would have given any anybody his weapon, period, no matter what. Are they Marines? Yeah, <laughs> we lived in Jacksonville, fucking North Carolina. Camp Lejeune was a military fucking base. Everybody I knew was a goddamn Marine or had been. Yeah, they don't. These people that they've got in. This is years ago, seven years ago, though. But the people that they got in power now, maybe, maybe they, the military is a bunch of pussies that hands over their fucking weapon when they're told to. What, what's that about? That's protecting me from what? Well. And I don't then, know. Wait, wait, no. there's more. Wait, the story says that luckily one of the two spoke Spanish. So they sorted out the problem. How do you get disarmed first and then have to explain your way out in the enemy's language? So, now, nah, come on. This is nonsense. I don't know that. I haven't even looked at the story. Do you but trust? Do you I, trust what the military or the government ever fucking does or ever tells us? And I don't care. It always turns out to be a bullshit story, an exaggeration, or the main things were left out, just like Bundy. Well, You're they only they, getting part of it, Vinny. Yeah, they try to you know chalk it up to what what would might be called military intelligence, which is you know the oxymoron. Uh, I think the policy is definitely set to. Uh, at least facilitate uh, a problem, you know, encounter such as that. Why would they, you know, drop off parasit twos off or you know, parasit twos uh, into this yeah. zone where the the border's undefined? And it, not was a, it was a real brief story. It didn't really have a lot of explanation for anything. That's why my bullshit button went right the fuck off, man. I went, nah, something's not right here. You don't give up. I'm not even military, but if I've got a gun, I'm not giving it to you. Whoever you are, I don't care if you're the police, you're not taking my gun. So you know what I don't bother with? Guns. Because <laughs> I know how I am. What the fuck? Why push, you know, so I don't even live in a country that fucking, uh, it's legal or whatever that bullshit's all about. But if I want a fucking gun, I know how to get a gun. And if I have one, I'm not giving it to anyone. So... Where does all this pussy lay down your arms shit come from? You're protecting a fucking border by giving the enemy your fucking weapon? Now, sorry, Vinny, it just doesn't make any sense from the start. Well, most of them don't. 
Hey, Cirque. How you doing? Cirque's uh, on here on the, what you call it? Um, the wire. No, I got her on another window. In my wire account. So I was... Uh, standing in the gap. That's... Uh, I didn't uh, start that, but I heard it in the first few days of the uh, Bundy uh, Ranch standoff. Standing in the gap. Uh, and I just I went to Twitter to search that. And there's someone actually running that Twitter handle of standing in the gap. But here, uh, I use it for a lot of my hashtags that uh, have to do with the Bundy. So, and other people do as well. So it's a good... Uh, it's a good way to go find subject, these hashtags, and it works on Facebook or Twitter. Um, and for us here at Real Liberty Media, uh, Hal, myself, and, um, which came from your dear wife, the uh, hashtag of R-Log, R-L-O-G. Oh, capture, yippity uh, dippity. Uh, to... Capture a place to uh, compile, right? Well, for, for one, I'm still just kind of pissed off because... I think I've been lied to my entire life by the entity I recognize as those who own my paperwork. You're going to have to get over that, mister. I can't. They're a bunch of fucking liars. You know, there's a new expression in England. When somebody is close enough to smell you, they, they say they're sorry they bitened you. Can you imagine? You know who that is, right? Tell me. Joe Biden. Creepy cool Joe. Guy. Yeah, well, his name is so freaking connected to Freaky Weaky that the English are excusing themselves by saying, I didn't mean to bite in you if they get too close. Biden. <laughs> That's what I just said. I, I didn't hear it the first time myself. So, I, But, uh, man, come on. This military is really bad. <laughs> It's not funny how bad this shit is. So the stories they're telling you about, nah, don't buy that. Unless you're crazy, if you want to believe it, and if, or maybe it's me. And in in this case, and you're right. And the the United States military go around bombing the fuck out of third rate fucking countries that don't have an army. But when it comes to protecting their own government, no, nah, they they hand their weapons over at the border. <laughs> That sounds like America to me under the leadership <laughs> that they have, but I was hoping it was not true. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, oh, come on, man. Well, you weren't in the military. Neither was I, but my relatives and friends over a lifetime, I've spent a lot of time around military. And I'm telling you, the thing I don't buy is this hand over your weapon crap. There's no reason to disarm in the first place. And, and well, maybe I, they thought they'd de escalate the situation and knew that they'd figure it all out. And it's like, yo, homie. Okay. And I find it hard to believe that there's these people are playing in this sandbox and there's no definitive lines. Don't cross this line. No. What, the border's wherever you fucking want it at the time you're on it. And Come on, really Vinny. There's, nah, 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 nah. It's, nah. Now, with all this attention that it gets down there and all the people on it, you'd think that, nah. I don't buy it, but you can. But Wrap I was right about 9-11. Wrap it up. I'll take it. But do you, you do see the comparison to the new shit they're doing with the 5G, with the Bundy thing that you saw with your own eyes, right? How, how do you mean the 5G thing, what they did with the buttons? Did, well, because they wrote laws in the 40s and the 30s that regarding land property. This is a big plan, and I'm going to sound like a whack of fucking doodle right now. I got to get but, coffee. Before. Yeah, okay. But I believe that this is a long-range plan, and, and the steps that are being taken were expected by the people that are taking it. Maybe they didn't expect the guns. That's... At, at Bundy in the way that it took you know that it took form they tried to piss everybody there off to take the first shot nobody did that would have justified the government the government for once couldn't kill somebody else and blame it on the victim but, always blame right that's but every other thing that they were involved with they didn't have live video cameras filming it 
There was uh, well Waco they did, but uh, but well not what well, Ruby Ridge didn't. They held the press off completely at Ruby Ridge in uh, Waco. They held the press back to uh, yeah. the press zone, which was at least a mile, I believe it was away. And uh, at Bundy Ranch, it was uh, impossible because the people there's so many. See, you know? that's what I mean is when they wrote the laws that they're trying to get through or live up right. to or win with, they weren't expecting the internet. And they weren't expecting the guns. The guns should have been gone already, but they're still here. Well, that's that's part of the plan. They're going to uh, move them. They're going to breed it out of the school system, and then in 20 or 30 years, nobody will want a gun. Right. So so today, like you said, with the day of the, you know, the Internet, mm -hmm. um, the, the times have changed. So yeah, Ridge and with uh, Waco, um, there was not that uh, occupational force of uh, citizen journalist, if, uh, if I might. Call them that. Well, for my myself, for instance, with my laminated piece of paper, uh, no matter as small as uh, the audience may be, uh, you know, I appointed myself. I didn't ask anybody for permission, uh, and that's that's what we have to do. You know, not, not and seek. It, and that's what I'm saying is at that time in history, we didn't have all this instant everything. Okay. So they're pushing the instant everything by the success of look at where we've gotten so far to hide the shit that it's doing to you physically so that you'll welcome the next wave of destruction. <laughs> well, with the Bundys, now, it was some 20 odd years in the making. They, uh, uh, Clive and Bundy refused to uh, sign contract with the BLM. He says, you know, I, I don't need your help managing this stuff. You're putting me out of business. So, like you said, it, you go back to the Taylor Grazing Act, which brought, uh -huh. uh, law, which, which law is good, right? It's exactly. The borders in, in order and so forth. And then they came in and like flipped the whole deal up. It's like, yeah, this is our property now. And, you know, we're letting you be on it instead of like yeah this is my uh this is my property clive and benny saying i'm you know paying you to help uh you know maintain this uh order and they create disorder so they come along with the endangered species act you know back in 1973 maybe it was um or 76 i forget uh then they come along they get a they say the tortoise is endangered out there and that's what they attack bundy on is the uh the tortoise you know, right uh, I the, remember that, uh, which is a lie. That the tortoise is, uh, and, and this is proof that the tortoise, all habitat, all animals are in by the rancher. You got something running in the background. Yeah, I got a TV going. Oh, I'll turn turn it down a little bit. Oh, I keep it so the dog and the cat don't get all crazy. Uh, Let me watch it. Do a little. Well, no, but it kind of keeps them quiet. They don't get head on for them. Freak them out. They go like, what? Oh, horse is talking. <laughs> well, even my cat would know if I was sitting here talking to myself for two solid hours, there was something wrong. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, sometimes the doctor crawls up. I got a chair here next to me and he crawls up there and sits through the whole show. Tonight, I don't have him. Tonight, he's in another room somewhere. But I got hand up my feet. Hey, we've got uh, Ann Weldon. I know. I said hey to him. Did you? Um, I was trying to find something. Oh. Somebody said I was going to copy that out of the chat. But I well, don't see it. I'm really into the uh, the idea of how far back the laws that they're using today, they go back years and years and years to the 1900s, right? Now, how how is it a coincidence that they managed to write the sef safety levels of 5G and make them, they're so dangerous, It's the minimum is so dangerous it'll probably kill you. But instead of adjusting it to the times, they just ignore it like it's not there. And just harp on, well, it's within federal guidelines. And I got a great show title tonight. Okay, and my show title tonight is "What are your local safety levels?" You know, why should we all, whoever we are, 
Always be dependent on people that live thousands of miles away from you to make the decisions that you have to live with where you live. That They're never going to go to it. They'll never visit you. They'll never come by for coffee. Won't even bring a bag of weed and say, hey, want to get high. These pricks just want to control us. That do come by the bag of weed and say, hey, let's <laughs> After you're all, all ago, yeah. <laughs> Is that the government that's doing that, Vinny? No, no, no. That's what I, I said. I, God damn it. Pay attention, boy. You I, like a bowling I, ball. Okay. I'm telling you. I, I, saw, I saw a ball. I'm telling you. Mm. I, no. Hey, listen, I'm thinking about, uh, and I know this is going to cause a little, uh, little bit of uncomfort uh, levels, but cool. Uh, That's what I like. Uh, considering when I'm going to go, I'm afraid I'm going to have to. I'm going to call my friend Lucas. He's the sheriff here in Van Buren County, and I, I'm going to ask him to come by and pick me up and uh, do a ride along today. Spend the day with him, as sheriff, as you know his duties of sheriff, and ask him some uh, few questions. And, a few uh, questions. You, the poor guy. You better buy him a box of donuts and a box oh, of shells too. No, I get. I better have donuts waiting no, for don't, me. Don't be a cheap prick either. Get him some the thirty eights. No. <laughs> get him some shells for his little pistol. You dummy. Be nice. He just get lives him. right down the road from me. Yeah. I be, no, no, well, and, see, there's the premise of my argument about why society does not work as well as it could. One, we're all lying to each other about shit we don't even know we're lying about. we just been told. So it's true. There you go. You want proof? We told you it's fucking true. Now sit down and shut up or we'll throw you out of the school. <laughs> no, we're telling them it's true. What's not? <laughs> well, I'm making a point, Vinny. I'm not picking on one particular thing. I'm on your slack. Yeah, for a change. But on this law thing. I see the, the history that I've read and looked into. I see these things have, as coming from the past as a, a plan. And we're falling into it as, a, as a, like a herd. Because when they're talking about people have no individuality anymore. I mean, damn, what do you do to, to be a, an individual? There's no such thing. You're, you're in a group whether you want to be one or not. You don't think so? Yeah, I'm uh, as separate as I am. I'm still in groups. Okay, but you've got the advantage of you live out in the boondocks away from the population where they're going to get nailed. <laughs> they're going to get them sooner or later. Civilizations just do that. No matter where we are, they do that. They collapse into their self. That I want to talk to my sheriff about <laughs> down the road remember we was talking you know the pink hair stripes and the nose ring and stuff no being pained because she looks like she might possibly well i could see you on a ride along but what would you do if some kind of crime happened and you got shot would you shoot the police uh, shoot would you sue the police for or do you got to sign a waiver so that they you can't in the first place probably would have to sign a waiver i think Cause, uh, you know, because he, he could end up in a gun battle at a bank, you know, or uh, maybe a domestic terrorist wants to seize the town hall and hold hostages. We don't have a town hall. We or got maybe a some Muslim wants to shoot up a Christian church then. How's that? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> really, Vinny on the ride along. Talk about your unrequited love, Vinny and Popo. I'd, I'd bring a roll-up cigarette and pull it out and say, hey, uh, you don't mind if I smoke. But see, <laughs> I'm, I'm not like you, though, and I could not put myself in a position like that in the first place. I would feel a fraud to do a thing like that because I do not like the popo. I got lots of friends who are cops. Yeah, see, I can't separate that mentality from that job. To me, they're all the same. See, it's like being a uh, like being a racist. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm Flash, and I hate a so and so. You know, and and I'm not really like that, except with the the uniforms. And it's not the people; it's what they do that pisses me off. So I'd be mad because uh, look what you do for a living, you piece of shit. You lock people up for burning flowers, you big bully. <laughs> Got your gun and your little handcuffs there. Huh? Well, there you that's go. 
No, that's what I'm kind of doing here is, is standing in the gap. Right? Okay, how so? By being uh, the uh, public personality there, I'm going to put myself standing in the gap, going there to, to position myself to say, yeah. uh, you know, I'm here and I'm watching. So in order for you to go do that bad thing and all these other people, you have to walk, you know, transgress through us. Yeah. So, do that you're going to further demonstrate your crime now now let me tell uh let me talk to uh um um guberzelli in just a second he says the situation on the border is it's not the same comparison to the bundy fiasco he calls it well that's uh huh. that's what i had said there when i wow. when i you know the difference be between uh, uh defending freedom and offending that place where you position yourself standing in the gap or trying to create a gauntlet, you know, going down there to uh, cause harm to somebody to, to pour out the water. These people that might uh, otherwise die and to hold them at gunpoint without really having. Now, Kyle will probably say, you they have a positioned uh, authority. But for me, a bunch of idiots then the ones I've seen, I know not everybody applies, but I know particularly idiots that have been down there on the border um, that have no business even having a gun, is, in my opinion, you know, let alone being able to go around and point at people. I'm surprised nobody's been killed. Maybe there has been, and they buried them. You know, they were skeletons. Yeah, yeah I've thought of that. But, nah, people snitch after some, some period of time. Somebody brags. or No, nah, it seems like it was pretty murder-free. That's why I was harping on that Saturday about the Fed stood down, and I've never seen them do that, do that before. And then today I read this crappy shit story about, I guess, Marines giving up their weapons to an enemy. No, that, does, that doesn't. Maybe it does today. But I'm an old guy, and I haven't been in America since 2011. So there's a chance things have changed a little bit. But I didn't change. <laughs> so... My belief system and the way I look at things is never going to, it's never going to improve. I'm wherever I'm going to be. This is it. I, I can't undo 59 years and be all smiling and happy and, you know, like some kind of idiot. There's a reality to life. So what it did was got lucky and I live where I don't, I don't have to see all this shit anymore. <laughs> If I see crap, it's because I'm opening my eyes and I want to. You know? Most of our cops around here are local guys. And, and I'm seeing, uh, well, I have evidence at least of uh, cop behavior that should not be tolerated from, uh, you know, the, their supervisors. If you're holding a, a girl on the side of the road uh, up past the midnight hours all by herself, and running dogs around her uh, van till they find the dog. They're like, <laughs> yeah, till they find something. They're gonna find something eventually. They're gonna get bored. They're dogs. Bag, yeah. Found and they confiscated it. A baggie full of, of white substance. It well, was laundry detergent. If you're a cop and you don't know the difference between dope <laughs> and laundry detergent, yeah, you're not smart enough to hold a gun. Well, I, I'm sure they should do what they do on tv and take a knife and bust the package open and taste it <laughs> and you know how stupid that is how ignorant would you be if you're a cop and you're in this warehouse and you just randomly grab this bag of what could be drugs and taste it what if it was poison <laughs> what if it was some legal shipment of uh, white oleander what's that white lab white oleander White, some kind of flower that you can grow it, but it's poisonous. If you make tea out of it, you'll you'll kill whoever drinks the tea. I think yeah. it's called oleander. I might be wrong with my names. One of the one of the great um, nerd minds can fix that in a heartbeat. Uh, nightshade. What was it? Poison. That. Uh... Oh yeah. There's but there's a there's so many things that you can legally grow that you can murder somebody with it. But the government doesn't care about that because there's not a market to do that. <laughs> if there was a market on it, like there's a market on like the poisons they put in the packaging of <laughs> inoculations, etc., then they'd use it and they'd they'd buy it and sell it. But there you go, and they'd make sure the public can't do that. 
In fact, I think that the government is in the process of making sure the public is so stupid that they don't even know what Mercury is. Didn't he have uh, wings on his feet? Uh, uh, see, told you. You are my case in point. One Vincenzo. Hey, Donna. I was just being sarcastical with the, you know, the comments there, Vinny. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Sarcastical. But, yeah. They miss the grass root in a little snicker. Uh, but still, I mean, it's true. The truth is so unbelievable. I wrote this. You wouldn't believe the truth. The written circus called government has become. It's it's unbelievable. That's why people don't listen because it sounds like a TV show or a movie or some kind of wacky plot on some spy you know spy show or a book. It doesn't seem possible to do this much damage to everybody equally. Ball part of the plan, my friend. That's what I think. Now, they've gone as far as to go to this Georgia Guidestones, blah, blah, blah. But, again, I don't trust the government as far as I can throw my house. Or the sources of information I get. I always doubt. The first version's usually crap anyway. So... And then I rely on show me what I can see. And I can't see it. If I can't, you know, see it, hear it, some, one of my major senses got to be involved. Well, let me tell you your fault in that right there. What's and that? You, you, I'm looking out and I'm seeing the, the trees moving. And that's wind. I can see the result of wind even though I can't see it. Can you? Sure. How do you know? Well, if I went out there, I could feel it blowing across me, but I can see also that the trees are moving. Now, I'm going to make a point to you in a whole other light right now. Okay. And that we, we can agree on that only for one reason. And that reason is we speak the same language. Okay? And I'm saying there are some things like what you just described that are so general and so understood that they don't need to be discussed. Well, let and me the, do, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. But the things that need to be discussed are hidden from us, right in front of our faces. Now that's uh, now I'm done. <laughs> Thank right. you. The matter is of perception. Now I could demonstrate face to face to somebody that didn't speak the same language. I I could take my hands and and fan them towards my face, and then act like in meme a tree and sway and go shh, shh, shh and wave my hands. And then, then I could say, wind. And they go, I can see muy fresco. All of a sudden, we're communicating. We're, we're getting the same perspective. Now we say, now which way does the wind blow? Yeah, well, you know what's really more important than which way the wind blows? Uh, not being in a phone booth with a fellow carter. No, the wavelength that the electricity is delivered to us on is wasteful. And okay. it, in my opinion, it is one of the main causes for all the problems we have. Could you imagine probably there's any number of technology that could be had that uh, you could just do some tuning forks in some sense of, like, say, let's say, like tuning forks, in a way, and then adjust this stuff, and you could get this vibrational frequency captured and then redirect it and it would uh, then you know, create the energy from it capture and, the and that is an example of what i mean by the things that we really should be uh, aware of and know a lot about are hidden right in front of us because yeah. we talk about wavelengths all the time generally i mean it's not like a, every 10 minutes it comes up in conversation but we think of these things we discuss these things but the truth about what they are is hidden that much, I have decided to go with that. We're, we're being had in ways that the shit they do to you and to your face is one thing. The shit they do underneath everything else, like these laws written in the 40s to protect landowners in 2014. <laughs> Come on. These people are professional land grabbers. That's what they fucking do. They started out in Europe. Guess where they're at now? <laughs> Anyway, you know, it's like that shit going on down in South Africa. 
people try to get me all sympathetic with, oh, they're chopping up all the white people. Say, well, that's kind of what happens when you go and invade a foreign land and and take it over and try to make it your own. (laughs) Eventually, you lose it. Eventually. Sometimes it takes longer than others, but... Uh, all this quest for, you know, the quest for wealth and and accomplishment and all that shit, it just turns out to be nothing more than that. A load of bullshit. All flesh is grass. Yeah, but see, where you're at, how many people are you going to, if you don't leave your fucking house, you're not going to encounter 100 people in a year. Oh, no, it would, if, if it was only the people that, if I, <laughs> see what I mean? One year, and only the the only people that I saw that <laughs> that would normally, and then just say an extra somebody drops by periodically. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I could very easily go easily uh, uh, see less than you know a couple of dozen people easily. And if I wanted to walk out my back door and, and go a hundred yards, uh, I could go for for days and weeks and months and miles and miles and never see a soul. Oh, yeah, and Goober, Goober's commented that I'm right. No, I'm not right. Larry Woods is the one that told me this. And I made sense of it in my own mind so I could understand what he told me. And I'm just trying to pass on the knowledge in a simple, easy way for other people to go, hey, what the hell is that about? Maybe I do need to look at it. Because it's right in front of your face, but you don't know. And then... Uh, my father was a mechanic his whole fucking life, tearing he, cars apart and all that shit. Not me. You I had to stop somebody from listening to you. <laughs> okay, funny. Hey, stupid! Did you know? <laughs> oh, come on. Hmm. And then, well, uh, but if if you uh, if you don't know how to do something is one thing. But if you know how to do something, but you're using the wrong tools to do the job, then you know that the job isn't going to be right. But you might be able to rig it somehow or bullshit something. But that's what they do with the generator system. It's on a, the wrong cycle. There it is. And yeah. our, Rob yeah. Works corrected me on that because everything's upgraded and changed since my dinosaur days. Oh. But what didn't change is the principle behind the delivery of the electricity creates a waste in, in frequencies and at levels of understanding that normal people don't give a flying diddly do about. Well, and, that, and, that, and those people, let, let me finish, those people, but those people know who um, Kim Kardashian is. And I don't know who she is. Besides, I've seen her name brought up as somebody that everybody knows, but I don't know who she is. Know what I mean? Uh, I Get it know. or not. There's more people that know about that woman that I just mentioned because some sh- shit they saw on the internet than do know about the wavelengths. <laughs> we're a, we're a fringe, a, Vinny. Fringe. 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 Yeah. Don't you know it's all about that base? Well, they keep them voting, too. How do they do it? It's like magic. Are you hungry? No. Are you entertained? No. You've got to be entertained and not hungry. No, it's, it's an unrequited love that I have with government. It's because they don't love me back. It's and that's and it's my cross to bear. I can't even blame them for it. But the government, it says, "Oh no, go away! Oh, you don't have enough money, oh, for us." What do you mean it's your cross to bear? Are you a savior? I you- have to save my own ass. Why, you that's be- what I do. What's the cross that you bear? My wonderful existence on Earth. I don't know. We have to bear through it. I we? like the way that sounded. Don't fuck it up, you big bully. Grand and bear. Damn, I right. was being all profound and using all kinds of biblical connotation. And you just whacked me down like a weed whacker. <laughs> You're yeah. a bully. Be a bully. Oh. Hey, you know what? You know what they're doing in France in a big in a big way right now? Dances. Burning Christian churches. Well. 
What are you going to do? I don't know. But people are sure a lot of pussies because I haven't seen any violence where I'm at. I don't attribute that to them being pussies. So it's, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, it's very peaceful and quiet. But there's this backbone to it. Oh, here we go. I was trying to explain this on the RLM today. The Danes are such pussies towards the Muslims that there's a, a guy in Denmark, in Copenhagen, that burns the Koran in public for fun to, in, to incite fucking uh, Muslims to get pissed off at him. Yeah. He, he does it on purpose for a game. He's That's nuts. It. He's a fucking lunatic. Uh-huh. But yeah, this, uh, wait, wait, now that is what's necessary to keep this Jew-Arab thing going. They got to have their little players do their little dances or there won't be any followers. See? See how that works? Huh? 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 I'm going to give you a test at seven. <clears throat> do you see how that works or don't you there, mister? Uh, Talking I to myself. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, it's good for you once in a while, Flash. I, I've, I'm way behind on the text, cause uh, you, you'll hear us later than you can type. <laughs> so it makes answering the chat really difficult for me, especially after a couple of tokes. Uh, uh, yeah, you're, in a couple of sentences. Big old pothead. <laughs> it's like what I what? say. What? I don't know. <laughs> I well, just said. <laughs> you know, I. I've told people for my entire adult life, if, if it's money that you're chasing after, the easiest way to get money <laughs> is to buddy up with a lawyer and find out what the government is going to force the public to purchase. And there you go. You got a captive audience. They got to buy it. There's no way out. The contracts are probably signed before the shit's manufactured. This is such a, a sham and a scam. It's not believable. We're being screwed. All of us. Equally. Too. That's the sad part. Not in a good way. Oh no, no. I'm not I'm not enjoying the ass raping I get from the state. I well, don't wait a like the state. You say that. Now tell me one way that you've been uh, uh, compromised or molested. If I participate in it in any way, that's how I get that's how it goes. That's how I see government. Fuck government. I want no part of their fucking government. Leave me alone. How how about my country, the country of Flashmania does not recognize you. Leave me the fuck out of it. It don't matter if they if you recognize them, if they got a recognition for you, that's when you're in trouble. See, I don't have that problem. And that's the weirdest part of the whole last 7 years being away from the states was of the things that I thought would irritate people didn't. And the things that did irritate people, I didn't see coming. So what did, did you figure out what Silomo was talking about when he said it's well, good for you once in a while? By somebody? No, I have no idea. I must have said something, but the text shows up like 30 seconds after you make the comment. So who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, what would uh, happen, Miguel, uh, if somebody tried burning the Book of Mormon in downtown Salt Lake City? What would happen? Oh, yeah, but that's what I mean. Exactly, and that's exactly what I'm talking about, that this crazy guy, this crazy Dane, and this is the kind of pussies that live in, in Copenhagen, by the way, people. These, these fuckers hang out in Freetown smoking hash, and then they go home. <laughs> Whoops. Now, apparently... No, I don't think it would be a pothead that would do a thing like that in the first place. I was being sarcastical about Freetown. Uh, but one like of, yeah, but one of my favorite memories of Freetown was uh, when Kelly came to visit. Me and Cirque and Kelly went to this bar in Freetown. And you should have seen her face when I lit up the spliff. Because in Freetown, you can smoke inside the bar while the band is playing and Nobody's going to do shit to you about it. Uh-oh. Cough, cough. Right? And, well, Kelly didn't. Kelly wasn't quite 
she heard the words, but it didn't phase her until we were smoking a, a blunt, <laughs> a spliff in the bar while the bar was actually open. Hmm. <clears throat> that was a good hit. That sounded like it. I was trying to stall for you, but <clears throat> I couldn't come up with anything good. I still got a cough. Better have a drink. Okay. No, see, Van, Van Meter can... understands that, you know, because they got us trapped with things like transportation. And I used to travel, I came out of traveling when you could hitchhike and take buses and go any fucking where you wanted to. It was great. Things changed. You know, now you can't, well, I've done it all. Now I'm a grown man. I'm older now, so I want to be settled down. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Yeah. Hey, I got some new pets. Well, they're not. Oh, new. what'd you get? Sponges, got, sponges, right? Rabbits. I got a couple of rabbits. I walked out last night. Well, I see them all the time, but they're getting where they come up closer. I fed them some popcorn. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Is that like, is that away. good for them? Popcorn, pop, popcorn, or just kernels? Pop. Oh, pop. Yeah, and oh. I'm try trying to make friends with the uh, crows. Of course, there's a long history of people hating crows in this part, of, you know, even in country, you know, yeah. shoot the crows because they come eat the crops, like sort of thing. That's why they're called scarecrows. You know, you find a scarecrow in the, in the garden. Yeah, scarecrow in the garden. No, you know where my my mind is at tonight, right? Uh, in the gutter. What are your local safety levels? Why are our local safety levels? Uh, <coughs> why are they like? ordered by a government from far far away when you're in your little area what do you need them for let me let me tell you what the where that applies to me see yeah. that you like saying my sheriff is a, a local guy that i know a friend from down the road i knew him before he was even a cop you know uh but it, he went in to become a cop and he started out in another department other city and uh, then he came around and he came over here to van buren and then he went over to uh, another city and then came back and become uh, sheriff. He filtered around the law enforcement and how the opera, you know, there's um, a way of doing things, let's say, as you know, the, the brotherhood, they call it the thin blue line. So there's a lot of flaws in that acceptable behavior type of things, the wink of the eye. So he's, uh, there's no way he could not been corrupted. Uh, influence and I'll say corrupted by that thinking. And then especially I know that then he started working in the drug task force. Um, and there's, v it's very active uh, federal agencies that uh, they're engaged all across America, county levels and uh, even, you know, tighter controls in down to, you know, cities and departments and so forth, but all these inner agencies um, and, and what they do is, is create this, you know, big problem with uh, drugs and, and you and I would would uh, know and agree that uh, how the the channels work to bring in drugs and who's behind that and the control that they and money they make off of both and then they go and they target wow the what's, little what's guy. going on? on they target the little bitty guy you know the guy that's an addict oh. that's out there that's slinging dope to support his habit and they call it a great success. It's still the channel flows. And then they get a big guy every once in a while, or they take somebody and make it. You know? Yeah, but whose military is in Afghanistan protecting the poppy fields? Yeah, that's, that's part of the, you know, what we know about how the channels work. I've seen pictures of that that were convincing to me. So, mm, possible. I wouldn't doubt it. But when you think about how difficult it can be to get to get things that are uh, against the law to get then it you know tv makes it look like you walk into some you, some stranger and buy shit <laughs> no that's not how i do it no 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 you know what interesting fact the first uh i i got in south park for a long long time and so i finally maybe about 15 years ago, I think I finally watched the first episode ever. And that was kind of, I was like uh, with my girlfriend at a party and the, the, uh, they were doing watching it. And it was like, it was there. And I, uh, unless I just left, I would have not, not been able to see it. But anyways, it was that, uh, that episode about the, uh, the Mormons. 
I thought it was a fence. Oh, you got a pig. That's what that is. Who I does? thought you. Somebody's got a pig. Well, I don't have a pig. What are you talking about? Never mind. That's no pig. It's a duck. Excuse me. Duck. Yeah. A broken duck. I yeah. thought you hated ducks. And if I, I do. You don't I, make I, any I, sense. Yeah, ducks are evil. We've but lost. I, con we've lost are, contact with any. Ducks. I have captured many ducks, and I've put their many in a re-education camp. Uh, Doing uh, very well. I have some for a uh, breeding uh, program, of course, and some uh, slight experimentation. I do have the uh, uh, crossed and have came to uh, very familiar with my good friend that I will let you see one day when he's not going to eat you. It's Spider Duck. Spider Duck. <laughs> spider Duck. <laughs> wow. Vincent, what? what are your local safety levels in my your level environment? Level is, is I happen to know my sheriff personally, and uh, he had recognized me. And I don't have purple hair and nose rings and uh, mm. uh, I, other things like which would draw attention. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You're going to find out if he's a redneck or not. Okay. This guy, we better check him out, type of thing. Yeah. Well, uh, you used to be a redneck, then you now you're not. Well, I'm like, like I'm, magic. I'm a redneck hillbilly southern fried slice. Yeah. See, that's a traveled but, redneck and a dab of salt. Because you can't, you can't give up what you are, change that. Well, some people think they can. They go even get surgeries and all kinds of crazy shit. I'm a guy trapped in a girl's body. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird shit going on. Vinny, the we world has changed. We should start a GoFundMe for Hans, and we could get him, uh, a, him. a redneck. There's no such thing as – don't be – it's like Santa and the Easter Bunny. Okay. Calm down, yeah. bro. There is no Hansel. It's just a myth. You'll grow out of it someday. I guarantee. <laughs> Hansel. <laughs> uh, poor guy. He was he was so embarrassed about the military thing. You know, he's making excuses left and right. I'm telling you, man. If if I've got a gun on you, you're not taking it from me. I'm shooting it. What what else do you have a gun for? So, you would be surprised that the majority yeah, of gun owners would but, voluntarily disarm themselves if confronted by a, an authority figure. Oh, uh, yeah, by an authority. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I'd be so willing, so I don't want to fuck with the guns. You've got, you've got this, uh, these options. <sighs> you can comply or die. Now, if Pretty you, much, yeah. yeah. If you kill to prevent you being killed, then... Yeah. You're gonna still gonna die. See, it's still stupid. The whole thing that ah, just eliminate the fucking anger out of your living arrangement, and you know what you don't have? What? People pointing guns at you because they're getting paid. I'm telling you, you know, Freetown gets raided by the damn um, Copenhagen sheriff or whatever the fuck they got there in town every year. Year. Sometimes two years will go by, and then they'll make this big uh, performance of a raid. And uh, Christ, they can't stop it, so they inter they interfere with it. They can't control it, so they fuck with it. And that's Hansel. <laughs> what Hansel can't control, he insults. That's how you know Hansel can't control you. If Hansel insults you, you win. <laughs> it's sad. It's very sad, but it's true. To me. Maybe not to the reallibertymedia.com chatters out there in reallibertymedia.com land. <laughs> but, but over here in Flash Co., where we're all cracked up in the head, we think all kinds of wacky shit. That's what I think. What about you... When when I when you and me agree, it's usually about the bigger stuff. It's not necessarily the details of the the uh, thing See, as much as the big thing. I think I'm disagreeing you with you. Yeah, because so the way you say there, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying no. Listen, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> well, cause it's because the explaining is so difficult. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to follow along. 
has become the evil uh, Vinny villainy. Yeah, uh, I've, I've got my own indoctrination to deal with on top of however I think. You know, see, some people go with it and they they go with the flow. Can you me eh, flow? I'm not going with the flow. Let's see what happens. Um, it's almost 4:20 somewhere. Hey, two minutes away. I better get ready. No. I was. We, we pulled off an hour and talked about a few important topics. I think. Well, I think we could do uh, some more important topics before the show's over. What do you think? I think so too. I'm, I'm warming up at 4:20. I got to keep. Yeah. What day of the week are you planning to do this ride along thing? I don't. I couldn't plan none of that, right? Couldn't. Huh? You got to beg them for permission to be shot at by people. Cool. No, I think I call them up at home and say, uh, "Hey, Lucas, uh, well, I want to talk to you a little bit of stuff. Uh, you you know about these First Amendment audits?" And- yeah. yeah. Well, I just found a nice comparison for me and you at this point in life. Oh, you yeah? ready? You want? Yeah. You're gonna laugh. You ready? Uh-huh. Oh, not laugh yet. Uh, I'd be I'd be Bilbo. And you would be Gandalf. Flee, you fools! Well, you know, because you're the wanderer, you do what you like, and da da da. Me, I got my little hobbit hole. And, but, uh, of course, he was a single guy, but, man. <laughs> they had hobbits that were of the married persuasion. You think he was gay? I don't care. Make any. I don't think about shit like that. I there's got a, a wife, of, so mm. there's a lot of undertone supposed to, uh, on all the the background of some of these characters. You know, people try to read in more. Maybe what's that? Well, have have you ever listened to Twenty Percent Off? Yeah. Okay, because I talk about this guy. I don't use his stop, name. Stop, He's got stop, this. Stop, stop! Stop! Oh, what? Very important. Huh? It is four. Oh, it's four twenty. Um, okay. Where? See how fast. Oh I- yeah, I got it. But I found him on YouTube, and he's got this really weird, like um, Greek or Latin or some kind of weird name. And he makes the most outrageous claims I've ever heard in my life about what he claims. But but, uh, but and he well, his appearance is very disturbing. He's a big, heavy guy. It's got to be three. At least three. I mean, he won't claim it, but I think he's about 300 and ink stained all down his arms to his fingers, all over, everywhere. <laughs> Not his face, but he's got a shaved head and he's uh, <laughs> and he's kind of an effeminate speaker. You know, he doesn't speak with a manly command of the language and all like that. He's kind of, I don't know, kind of girly. But. The shit that he talks about is so convincing. He's a good salesman. He finds a feature and the benefit, and then he just closes you at the end, and he's, wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> and that's the kind of shit that I like. People that make me think about wavelengths. You know, if I can't understand what this is, I go find something that I do understand. Hmm. Mr. Smoking Pot at the 420 report. I I think I got. It. I was gonna uh, say something, but then I got. <laughs> okay, and well then, Dumbledore. I don't know Dumbledore, Schmumbledore. I That's, was I was well, just talking about the personalities of the of Bilbo Baggins and Gandalf, and it just struck me that before I mentioned it to Vinny that I'm like a hobbit now compared to how I used to live. And getting me out of my hobbit hole is like listening to Vinny talking about his adventures, you know. And at some point, I'm supposed to want to go on an adventure like I used to, but I don't anymore. <laughs> I, I, talking Whoa. about um, I was talking with uh, James Ball over on Twitter, having a friendly conversation. He, uh, from what I've been told in the background, he's uh, agent of the state. Like, LM employee, I believe. Um, but anyway, he's talking about Spokane, uh, what's going on there with Matt Shea. Uh, they, they're making it like it's a, a big, uh, 
white supremacist conspiracy thing going on up there and perhaps taking some things out of context. Uh, but but there is, you know, ideology that people will have and separatism and um, and then you get the opposite where people try to force themselves in on uh, groups that don't want to be, you know, infringed upon. So there is a good thing for separatism in so many ways. Uh, uh, now, where was I going with this? Uh, on my, oh, yeah. And speaking with uh, on my travels in with, with uh, this guy uh, here at Twitter. But I was up there in Spokane in um, 2017, uh, and I stopped in California then uh, th for about three months. Been about three months in Spokane. Went all around that countryside. My buddy I'd met in in Buckerville, uh, John. Uh, he exhibited. Uh, yeah, he was. Oh, in so many words, uh, disturbed, uh, and his actions exhibited it. Uh, and I spent a lot of time and and. Uh, trying to talk him down um, to, for his course of actions where he was headed. Uh, and he's lucky he's just in prison now instead of uh, dead. Uh, and, and I won't go on beyond saying what all he's done except for being stupid. And this is what a lot of people are doing. Now you see these uh, auditors, uh, you know, being smart aleck with, with cops. I, I fully support that because the cop ought to be able to take it. Me, I'm not, I don't go that way. I was like, hey, you know, here I am and this is what I'm doing. And, uh, but you need that contrast. It's very important. You got to defend on this. And anyway, so I'm out in Spokane and I spend some time out there. And Matt Shea, this stuff's going on up there with him now. And um, big stinking mess and uh, getting lots of uh, national coverage. So I'm kind of going to keep it up with that. But any James Paul, he shared a link with the very extensive background and stuff going on there. And, and it doesn't play necessarily uh, to either one side, it, it, but a person can read what they want to and draw all, only off that one side and, and miss the rest of it. But anyways, uh, travels, travels. That was a year and a half on the road. Um, what an adventure. And that's part of the point I was leaning towards earlier about that is most people don't, take the time to do all these different things that seem to be necessary to, to do in order to get to a mental state where you're comfortable. And I think there's people on Real Liberty Media that have done it to a to a degree where the people that are in, you know, the 9 to 5 rat race, they don't even have time for internet for entertainment. You know, that's the people I'm talking about. The ones that don't even have money for this. So there's plenty <laughs> there's plenty of toys to play with on this planet. And a lot of them are calling their self human. Well, guns is a is a nice toy that people like to play with. And, you know, of course, you learn it from uh, from youth by a lot of people. But they're trying to breed that out of people now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Guns bad. Cowboys bad. bad so, cow uh, well, but they, they started with that zero gun crap you can't make a cookie or whatever some kid bit a cookie into a gun and got in trouble at least this is see that's what i mean the narrative the story that you hear quick you, if it had been a cookie it had probably been okay but when you have uh, something that goes pop or has pop and then it looks like a gun no not acceptable mr no sir no, no, it was a cookie. Parts popping up in here. I'm not making a joke. This is serious. I'm, I'm actually reporting the news that I read. Because the this no this zero tolerance crap is completely freaking insane. And it, it's not going to stop. It seems to be escalating, if anything. And I blame it on that. Most most of the population is brain dead. I like the stairs and not the escalator. See, told you. There you go, proving my point right there in the first sentence. Because it is all too much for any one person to deal with. Up tart, dude. I'm t well, you live out in the middle of. Well, you still got people that are close to you, though. Are you isolated like a hillbilly, like a, uh, what do you call it? Hermit? No. Okay, see, so you're not a hermit, so, but you're isolated out away from the the major population. 
And that's the stronghold you got. Only a few people pass by where I lived. That yeah. Yeah. The yeah. The so there you I go. Place. You know, locally, just like, well, talking to James Bald over there on Twitter, he's, uh, he's been to, uh, I think he said 40, yeah, 48 states. I've been to 46. And so talking about uh, out there where he's at and how people wave. And I said, that, you know what? I, those are some of the places I really like when you're passing. You don't even know them. Even going down the highway in Texas, people will wave when they're passing. Yeah. They'll pull off on your shoulder. If you get up behind them, they want to go faster than you. You move, they move out of your way. I pass strangers daily when I go on my journey into town. And whether I, I've seen them before or not, I would say about half of the people that you encounter on the walk, uh, the walkway that I take, it's a bike path. So it's not real popular. But uh, that walking that way, half the people I pass will, will acknowledge me. And almost all of the bikes, the bikes do. But sometimes it'll be a single female or a young girl, and th eh, they're awkward or they're uncomfortable. But most people just nod at you or say hi or something and pass by. Is that a pistol in the sky, or are you just glad to see some sunshine? Probably glad to see some sunshine. Why? Who's got pistols now? You didn't see what Grimner posted for you? From no, I, I I just took my glasses off to uh, massage my eyeball. Okay, now, Grimner sent... Ah, there's something there. 1.2 million gun owners and new NZ-37 guns were turned in. <laughs> oh, that was frumpy. Okay, flat. Uh, it's a late wait. I'm losing it tonight. Anyway. I get your answer, but I was expecting you to, to have more to say about the wavelengths that you're delivered because the, they're still delivered to you on the same shitty cycle that they're delivered to me on. <laughs> Gun-shaped cloud. <laughs> Clever. Good. All students suspended for five days. <laughs> no shit. Uh, people are just... But that's what I mean is... You can convince people to believe whatever you want to convince them to believe. Have you ever done acid? Yeah. Years. It's been years, but yeah. Like Why? back in the day when it was good acid, did you really when like I was, When I was a teenager and I, I did crazy things, I was fortunate to keep most of it to those years. So Now, you, now, like, now I'm just old and do crazy shit. <laughs> But acid's not on the list. Well, maybe I would. Back then, did, when it was good stuff. I don't think there is like good acid. Anymore. I don't know. I, I'm in Copenhagen. Well, not in Copenhagen, but it might be a different world in, in Freetown. But they do frown on uh, chemicals, like powders. You can't do drugs in, in Freetown. Because it's not free? Because they don't do drugs in Freetown. No heroin, no cocaine. It's sort alcohol. Of Alcohol and, and pot only. Where do they See, go for the hair wrong? Away. Back to the city. You know, they, they, they don't that in the city. Where in Freetown? No. <laughs> no, in the city. What city? Copenhagen? Yeah, you moron. And there's two That's cities. There are only two. One is a city and the other's a, a a flop. They're they're just squatting on the land. It's called Freetown. It's not a city. <laughs> That's the only two places that that uh, have the option now? How do you mean? Well, an option versus choice. Is there other places to go to get your hair on if you use it? No, because they don't sell fucking heroin in Freetown. No, in Denmark. In Copenhagen. That's the only place you can get it, Copenhagen. Not the only place. Just you're not going to get it at Freetown, you monkey. Not, what don't you understand? I understand that. No, you oh. can't like go down to the railroad tracks and... Uh, find a hobo selling heroin where you're at. You, right? I wouldn't put myself in a position to try that, but <laughs> thanks for the good good advice on scoring heroin in Denmark. The heroin, the, the, the hobo heroin dealer. <laughs> well, he rides white train. Oh, well, there's so see, there's so there's so much bullshit out there in the real world about like pot being a gateway drug to heroin. No, it's not. 
I started on heroin and I decided that it was just too much for me and I stepped down to the marijuana. See what I'm talking about? Good, good, good stuff. Because, but they tell you it backward. But when drugs were first illegal, they were telling people that pot w- was the gateway drug to heroin to make them afraid. And then in the 60s, it was heroin is, uh, or no, in the beginning, it was heroin is the gateway to lo- gateway drug to pot. But in the 60s, it was pot was a gateway to heroin. They reversed it. Let me tell but, you how to have for me. People yeah, forget, I, Vinny. They I, I, don't I, I, even pay I, I, attention. And this fella, he says, would you like to try some of this marijuana? And I says, yeah, heroin. I'm, uh, I know where this is going, and I just might as well ride that horse first. Uh-oh. Are, are you going all drug drug addicted crazy? I, I was just making... Uh, are, are, are you going to be a danger to the radio program? Probably. Probably. Uh, cool. Yeah, no, the difference between probably and probable. No. Don't even really care. But your, see, your local safety levels and mine are different. I think. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about heroin hobos. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have any of them either here. Yeah, well, the- I heard a story. Now, I won't go on to say who and where, but uh, uh, old gal comes out with uh, <laughs> uh, these other folks about, hey, you know where you're getting heroin? And it's like, everybody looked at him like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but some people just like to start shit in public, too. Oh, I've been around people like that. Yep. Crazier than a March hare. Wackadoodles. I remember this one character I talked to in a restaurant one night. And it was an interesting conversation because he was calm and and collected about his his demeanor was normal. But the topic was, (laughs) he was explaining to me how Jesus was a bastard because he didn't have a father. (laughs) I couldn't remember the story today because it was like in the 70s. But I remember that I had the conversation with the guy and where I was when it happened. But as I age, certain details fade. But that was a that was a whacked out person. I met Jesus in uh, <clears throat> give him a ride up to uh, uh, the Sequoias. I think I think it should be a law. He told me, he says, uh, I says, what's his name? And uh, he said what his name was. He says, but some people know me as somebody else, too. He says, maybe I'll tell you about it later. And I already knew who he was going to say when he said that. Because nobody says something like that unless they're like, if I tell this guy I'm Jesus Christ, he's going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, but hey, my plumage is better than your plumage. What are you talking about plumage? Well, you're the peacock. So I'm talking about your plumage. Peacocks are proud. Right. You got your plumage. Well, I'm a, I am want some plumage. Yes. I don't think it's right for you to have all the fucking plumage. Now what are you going to do? Peacocks are proud and peacocks are loud. I'm challenging you there, peacock. Well, spread your, spread your little tail feathers. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, huh? I'm, if... if uh, if Puka, Poo Boy and uh, uh, Bitch Bot are talking, I've not seen it because I have them uh, removed. They, I can oh. go up to the Ponder Gander and see, but uh, yeah, otherwise, I don't care to engage in you hey, know, you know, back and forth, up and down relationships. I, this is stupid, and to play that game, uh, I, I don't care to play it. Well, you know? about your ride along. Yeah. What is what is your goal? I mean, what are you, are you trying to get this catch this guy being a prick? No. Or are you trying to to find out if he's okay or not? What what's up? No, I just you know want, the guy already, right? Yeah, I just want to uh, uh, give public audit to the what's going on in in the county at the uh, this law enforcement level. Uh, I'd also like to uh, go into the jail uh, and uh, have a look around, open the bean hole, and ask are, anybody if there's a. Uh, any uh, grievance that uh, they feel maybe? Well, that, are you up to date on your I, mandatory inoculations? I, I want to see the conditions of the the jail cells, the the uh, kitchen, the what they're being fed. And yeah, look, you, uh, you could get somebody sick. Plan. 
What if you have a virus yeah. and you haven't been inoculated for protection and you get people sick? Then what are you going to do? They don't have uh, any kind of contingency for that. There, Nobody has uh, inoculated or vaccinated or nothing to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Now, they will ask you to sign uh, a contract that says that, uh, that yeah. you're uh, you're going to for your stay there a certain amount of day. Um and well, I I uh, got the uh, take a little vacation some years ago in you know, thirty days, and I told them I, this looks like a contract to me. I said I'm not signing this. I tried to insist, but I refused. I went through eventually. I went through and I crossed a bunch of stuff out, initial by, <laughs> and wrote some other stuff in there, and then I signed I signed to that right there. I I. Yeah, you know, negated all the other stuff. No, I was. I Frumpy says no one was talking about the peacock. I brought it up. I don't. I, I want. I want to have plumage too. I. I feel all left out. Oh, thank you, Frumpy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not watching. I don't watch over. I go over there. The ponder gander is a a proper. Uh, well, even by the name, ponder to think and to to gander to look and. Uh, to go over and in case uh, there's something that uh, Pooh Boy wants to, you know, I see float out here by title. I might want to go say actually what it is because um, he has uh, some good stuff. But unfortunately, I, I find him to have disturbed character and I don't want to interact with that. So uh, I have to make this piece of my own. Right. And to, to have peace over here at Real Liberty Media, I have to uh, choose to disengage some people. That that's all that you know. Everybody knows it was a big deal for me. You know, it's yeah. I I made uh, uh, well if I didn't uh, lose some friends or if I didn't make any enemies, I've certainly lost some friends over here at Real Liberty. Media. Yeah, that, that's for certain. But I'm not changing. I'm I'm gonna be uh, gonna be me. Yeah, well, that's how kind of ridiculous this whole thing is. Life. You being you doesn't affect me in any fucking way at all. It's just you being you. The re the fact that we're talking about it doesn't change my life at all. But knowing you introduced me to Larry Woods, who had something really important to tell me. So you you played your part in the letting introducing me to Larry Woods thing. There you go. Cool. But. Well, hey, we're similar aged. There's and you have a shocking story, but I have a shocking story too. Duh. So your your life um, s memories and what you tell us about doesn't shock me. Yeah, I'm not like, oh my God, you did this and you. Oh, nah, people. I've known people that have done stuff that I wouldn't even think of trying. <laughs> so it's a big world, Vinny. You know. Uh, this is uh, this is our tunication I came up uh, with from a uh, little influence of you. <laughs> it's, mm. funny. it's funny, I think. Wait, I'm going to go post it. Where's my button? Yeah. Come here, button. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Here we go. And then, I, I got a joke. All right. There. There's my thing. Okay. This goes back. And yeah. for my next trick, I'll need a volunteer from the audience. How to make friends and influence enemies. So... A rabbi, a priest, and a, wait a minute, what did I write? Down? And a Muslim are coming out of a restaurant all at the same time. And as they take their first few steps, the three of them at the same moment look down and there's a pile of money. Well, how are they going to divide the money? So the the rabbi, well, the, the, um, the Muslim says, we'll draw a circle and throw the money in the air and whatever lands on the ground in the circle we'll give to Muhammad and we'll split the rest. And the priest says, no, we'll, we'll throw the money in the air and whatever lands outside of the circle we'll give to God and we'll split the rest. And the Jew says, why don't we just... Um... <laughs> Fuck, I fucked it up. Oh, uh, he says, what God wants, let God keep. Who said that? <laughs> the rabbi. rabbi. I screwed up the end because, yeah, sorry about that, folks. But, yeah, the rabbi says, 
let God what God wants, let God keep. That's what I'm that way they can split it all. I get it. Because yeah, well, I butchered the joke in a way, anyhow. But I, I, it's a hard one to do with religious people. I didn't know three things. I didn't know what to call the Muslim. <laughs> So I fucked up the joke from the start in a way. But I have done worse on the radio. Should hear me on the control games. Whoa. I got one. I got I got a joke for you. It's not a bit yeah. funny. A guy walks into a bar and he gets life in prison. <laughs> okay. Well. Boom. That every day. Ouch. Every day, undoubtedly. Somebody is being a, handed down a sentence in some federal jurisdiction of uh, taking away their freedom for the rest of their life, if not. Right. So, right. That's that's why there's 300 million of you instead of where you live. See, it's all of you. No, it's not. That's just a control thing. It works. Hey, we have the heckler. The heckler. Who's, the heckler. Who's the heckler? Miguel. Yeah. Miguel. No, I, I. Oh, the heckler in the room. I see. Yeah. Now just need an elephant to give peanuts to. Do hmm. so you know how to tell when there's an elephant in the shower with you? No. By the, the slight smell of peanut butter on his breath. Ah, that. Okay, it. well, you must have a very big bathroom. Uh, yeah. How I, many elephants can you fit in your bathroom? That's how we'll judge bathrooms from now on. How how many elephants fit in it? If you're outside, I'm singing in the rain and dancing with elephants who've been eating peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, you can have a whole herd. I don't want to do that. I was more. Yeah, it'd be awesome. You could uh, do a what do you call one of them? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I've got the world divided into percentages. Okay. Oh boy, I'm just as long as I get my slice. Well, you might, but you might not, because there's the one percent that control the game, right? Less than that, I'd say. Okay, let's call it one percent for the sake of a percentage, so I didn't have to play with freaking fractions like some kind of mathematician. Now, go well, back to my go back to my game, Vinny. Okay. Got one percent that that run the game and you got 90 percent that willingly participate in the game and then you got us there is no us exactly because uh, there's quote? no there is no common link to us we are all very individual fucking people but there's that's the point no. Step out of the gang and stand on your own and see how long you last. <laughs> it's not it's not real hard to do. There, there you go. But, well, some people are so entrenched in the society thing that they'll never be free of any of it. it takes a lot to... Freedom, if, if, if it's freedom, the people out there in radio land, if that's what you're looking for, oh, you won't find it in a society. No, 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 no. Society is where all the rules and regulations are. So where where is it you can go where there's no rules and regulation? Oh, yeah, nowhere. Because you can't just live outside like a cat. <laughs> that, that would make people's tumors bleed for crying out loud. <laughs> huh? What do you think there, Vincenzo? I can't find... Uh... What it was I was looking for. There is no us. Uh, you're reading while I was pontificating about something cool. All right. Never mind. If anyway. You up and tell me again, I'll, I'll listen. No, I'm not going to tell the I, same. Uh, I didn't find what I was looking for. Well, then you should have been on the show where I was talking to you. you oh, I'll hear it later. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the heckler. I remember bladder acid with pink elephant Dumbo. Dumbo acid. It was good. See, yeah, I've thought about that. Maybe me and Cirque ought to invest in, in I'll give that some consideration and take it to the Board of Flashco for approval. You don't need yeah. 
of them drugs, boy. You stay away from uh or, Don't or, tell me what to do. But when you're when you're don't, married, don't, you don't, I don't listen to you. What the fuck am I listening to you for? What how are how are you going to enforce or entice me to do anything outside of asking? <laughs> it's not yeah. possible. Copenhagen. Don't uh, don't do you, take send guns you, down, son. What are you going to send me a big fat check? I mean, what's going to what's my price? Can you be bought? So, I don't think so. Well, depends so, on how serious. Cool. I mean, are, they're are we, sold, buddy. See, we're talking billions, or are you talking like a million dollars or some stupid shit like that? Well, you heard the story. No, I better not tell it. No, don't tell it. I don't know. If I woke up a Rothschild in the morning, would I? how would I be? How could you be like me and be living that shit? <laughs> no. These people are twisted, man. They got weird ideas. They fuck their cousins. Oh, you're nasty. What? What? Why did you say that? To make babies, because this is what inbred freaking billionaire families do. These people are strange. Oh, please. Can you imagine the kind of uh, cold, brittle mentality you'd have to have? I can. To have all that and walk amongst people that have nothing. How could you do that? Well, See, I don't understand that how that's possible. So you know what I do? Mm -mm. I live where that does not exist. It could happen. Oh, thank you. Well, Good. here we go, Hansel. It could happen. It yeah. Can. So the world could fucking blow up. I could die of a freaking heart attack. All kinds of shit can happen. I don't worry about what could happen, Vinny. You know that. I, you know what I worry about, Vinny? What? Vinny. 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 Uh, you know what I worry about? What do you worry about? Not a fucking thing. <laughs> Nothing. You know, it's that not worth the time. What? How do you get that time back that you waste worrying about shit you can't do anything about anyway? Things you got to be uh, observing. Now, let's say if you was walking yeah. in the woods out here. Now, for a long, for for years now, it was yeah. a year ago is a little more frequent. There, but there had been an ice storm out here, a lot of tree damage. There was a few people that um, some years later was strolling through the woods, and all of a sudden, boom. A uh, widowmaker falls out, and that's why they call it a widowmaker, because it fell out and hit this guy, kill him dead. Nah, yeah. So, I mean, you do got to worry about something. You got to be uh, observant of uh, the things around you. That pathway. Uh, yeah. You get well, off the pathway and, and fall off into the danger zone. I'm going to go with blind doodah luck. What do you say to that? Well, yeah, even a blind pig can find an acre. See? There you go. Uh, oink, oink. What a way to be. What a way. Hey, what well, are they saying over here? Are we being heckled? See, because I don't... I've got some strange beliefs that other people don't carry. Oh! Before you say it, let me... Because I'll forget. I forgot Friday to talk about this. Wolves and coyotes. Yeah, there are wolves around here. Um, I'm not oh. surprised. Because I do know that there's a panther... Cougars with mountain lions, you know. But um, one old boy's got uh, got it on game cam. Wolves, actual wolves here. And, and my friend's uncle, he killed one back in 1975. 100 pounds. Uh, his dad, he he caught some of the crafts and went to sell them. He found out you couldn't sell the wolf hides around here. And it's illegal, but there's not supposed to be any wolves actually around here. It's not even acknowledged. That there are wolves existing here where I live. I haven't seen them. But I've seen some big tracks. That I, it's like, that's a dog. Yeah, big dog. Maybe, you know, like down on the road or something. <laughs> big dog. <laughs> you yeah, a real that? big fucking dog. Do you believe in a big bad wolf? No. Should I? Yeah. Would it help me if I did? Do you know why the little boy cried wolf? No. Well... His dad, of course, being uh, in the occupation that he was, he'd come home and tell stories and, uh, and, uh, about what going on there, the big bad wolf coming for the sheep and this and that. And then the little boy, he expected that to happen when he grew up and became a shepherd herder. Right? A shepherd herder. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. 
to get kind of what you look for in life, I guess. Yeah. That's what I've been preaching for a hundred thousand years. See, I told you we don't disagree. If your if your life sucks, I suggest you look in a mirror because that's you sing that song. Man well, up. well, okay. If, me and you getting along or not? How does your life affect me in a physical, mental? What? What? I'm gonna worry about you. What? 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 <laughs> but see what I mean? And how much room is there in my head to live my life and then worry about all these other people I do? I I know. <laughs> Sorry, folks, but I'm just like you, out of sight, out of mind. Is there any people that go back uh, mm. years or more for you that you still uh, uh, wonder about, or even maybe if you are in contact with folks, uh, whether it be uh, a distant kin or friends that you knew growing up that kind of became like family in a way for time and life? No, I'm so old and so far from home. Those things don't happen. Yeah, yeah. With uh, social media, I, that's what I found yeah. was amazing. Oh, yeah. uh, I think 2010 when I came into the uh, internet world, so less than a decade. Um, but then to find a reconnection with people that you know you hadn't seen since you was uh, 15, 16 year old. Others, you know, even before that. Well, it's a damn good thing I'm not a wolf then. Why? Well, because I wouldn't be me, would I? I don't know. You were going off on wolves and I was reading the chat. <laughs> Somebody's uh, talking about wolves. It was you. <clears throat> yeah, that. Arizona town terrorized by packs of stray chihuahuas. <laughs> that would be dangerous. That was Miss Kate put that up. <laughs> went out. And, Thought it was funny. Hey, it's funny. If you went out into the woods and was drinking from a creek, have you ever done that? And gone and drank out of a fresh drink? Yeah. No. How did you drink? Did yeah. you get down and squat down and drink out of your cup, your hand and drink, or did you get down and put the water out? <laughs> No, I used my hands, I think. You didn't yeah, lap. It's been a while. Huh? You didn't lap the water? No, do you? Yeah, I get you Put your face in there and you get get it all over your head. Yeah. Depends. Uh, depends. Now, if depends. it's a good, nice waterfall, I'll cut my hand and let it flow into a little cup of bowl. But I, I live in the city, Vince. Here we go again. City, I always picture you like on the edge of a country road overlooking fields of fall. Uh, no, there's no fields. We got neighbors. Two. No, we live on the. So you the only two lips I've, here. But... I've posted pictures of the neighborhood on on. Uh... I'm just kidding you. I still like oh, to yeah. in fantastical fields of tulips. But when you see like pictures of the train station, stop. it stop it, it. looks it my... looks like it's where it's supposed to be. You're destroying my delusion. Why? <laughs> a wolf in flash somebody's clothing <laughs> nah I don't want to be a wolf I don't see I don't want to play the game at all I, eh, it's, it's not it doesn't do anything for me it does things for other people but nah In the water. I'm too artsy fartsy to uh, I don't know to work for others. Working for others is just, I don't know, doesn't interest me. Does it interest you, Vincent? Sometimes, yeah. Why don't you should try to get a job with the FBI? I'd like to do that. Maybe you could become a snitch for the FBI and inform on and inform on domestic terrorists. I could be an Overwatch guy to go in there. <laughs> Overwatch. Yeah, and I should have the authority to do. I don't know if anybody's seen that uh, television series, the NCIS, and uh, what <laughs> slap so de nozo, I think his name upside the head all the time. I should have that a power and ability, and authority to say, like, uh, I'll take Brian English uh, up in Denver. I say, like, look, man, did you try to talk to these people <clears throat> before setting all this stuff into motion? And he's like, well, 
I tried, you know, but I did all I could do. <laughs> I could slap him upside the head. Now, hold on just a minute. Are you telling me you're, co you're creating crime? Are you facilitating crime? Now, what about this man over here, this undercover Marshal Marshal that, in, uh, that just suggested it was time to go kidnap a judge? That was, yeah, FBI guy said that. I heard it right there myself in court on a recording. Played it right up there. Wow. Yeah. He's trying yeah. to create crime. What happens then? Okay, where does all the trust and all this bullshit come from then? Everybody's all screwing each other over and lying and trying to take stuff. Where does the honesty part come in? I want to go for a ride on with the FBI, ride along with the FBI. You think if I call them that they'd like come give me a ride, pick me up, give me a ride? No, but what? I I think you should try because you're insane, and it'd be worth to see the video. <laughs> My buddy Vinny on on YouTube again, doing some other crazy stuff. What, Mike? If you uh, <laughs> Mike, yeah, I'm gonna ask. Him. I see him. Yeah, he teaches at top uh, wilderness survival, and I like. Yeah, him. was you? Did you take any food? Did you take any clothes? Uh, any instrument to facilitate an easier life? How far extreme did you go? Did you have to take sissies out there and bring ramen noodles? What? Uh, I, yeah, because that's something that's very interesting to me too. It's something I've done since I was young is go out and practice Bible stuff. See, and, I, and I'm a city dweller. I live on the fringe. But uh, I've seen the time I've drank out of a muddy hoof print. Oh, here we go. Okay, John Wayne. No, that was a Texas Waddy. Oh, uh, you're his Jewish cousin, John Wine. Yeah, I heard all about you and your horse. <laughs> Poor horse. Uh, John Weinstein. Uh huh. Oh, there's more to it now. Weinstein. Uh, same thing. Get a long little. Something fucking Jewy for the you know people to get a hold of. It's really sad that that uh, the game is being played the way it's being played because it's so sellable this way. Sellable or syllable or sell. Sell. It's so. See, it's worth a uh, it's worth a look. It's not something you can just ignore it and go, nah, you don't know anything. You say Jew and Arab in the same sentence, and people already know you're talking about war. <laughs> you're talking about disagreement, deep rooted hatred, the the original unrequ unrequited love <laughs> that we all know. A Jew, a Jew and an Arab could both say shalom, and and I believe that. Behind all this crap that we live with down here in the real world, that the people that eat off the gold plates, they're, they're all fucking friends. They're fucking us, and we're falling for it. Do you know what Shabbat Shalom means? No. What, what do you give me the Jew lesson for? What's up here? You, you got to know what Shabbat I don't got to know shit. Yes, you do. I'm Since sure. when? <laughs> You gotta enforce your freaking laws on me now, Vinny. <laughs> help, help. Look, he's repressing me. Help, help. I'm being repressed. All right, let me catch up the mic. All right, wait. Are you oppressing me or repressing me? I might have it wrong. Obsessing me. <laughs> Jeez. Great. What the f Well, somebody got Harvey Weinstein up something. I lost my mind on that one. Do you remember, okay. remember what? Do you remember when? No, I don't remember when. I forgot what we were just doing. But I lost my mind. It was no, you you lost your mind on a Tuesday. <laughs> it's very snowy. I finally lost my mind on a Tuesday for a hamburger the other day. Have you noticed that we are controlled through speech? Yeah. Oh, you noticed that? When did you notice? Uh, I just noticed like a minute ago. Oh. Went, wow. We're controlled by speech. You know how I know that? How do you know that? Because it takes other people to tell me stuff. That's how I know that. Shalom. Ah, thought I wasn't paying attention, huh? I did. 
Surprise. I was listening. Ha. Now what are you going to do? Uh, punt. Oh, I don't even want to play football. No, next game. Some uh, Something less violent. I, I'm going to go for a second and be right back. I got to go. Okay. Punt. What? Anyway, so I was trying to make a big deal out of what are your local safety levels and why should we live like this where you have these people that are deceitful and misleading, making a ton of money, supposedly, make us live like this when it's so obvious if you do a little reading or a little uh, link looking. (laughs) <laughs> link looking ah, maybe that'll catch on hey you um, do a little snooping on the internet you can find out stuff that would really make a difference if you apply the knowledge to what you're doing all you could do is improve shit that's I think the truth of the matter but there's so many different things to look at all at once that you can't seem to give one thing enough attention to do it correctly is what I think. So, on top of that, to try to form a group out of this mess to combat uh, something that's completely invisible to 9 out of 10 people. That sounds like a big problem to have. So, that's really not the way that I look at it. You know, not looking to fight this thing. I'm looking to survive it. <laughs> it's, it. It's a void. It's like a big hole. It, people just waste shit. They throw shit in it. and it, then Once they do, the shit's gone. Poof. It's, where was it? I don't know. It's gone. We threw it in the hole. Poof. See? And then they, they got us buying electricity. The electricity we buy is not the best source of electricity there is. But it's the most profitable to the people that sell it to us. So, (laughs) guess what we're going to do? Somehow, charging an arm and a leg for fossil fuels and the derivatives thereof. It's been embedded into the lifestyle. Never going to clean it up. And I told him a couple times so far, I said, double down on the $21 And just move everything over to hemp. Retool, whatever it takes. Mine, dig, make, create, blah, blah, blah. And the the less, <laughs> the more that would uh, lean that way, the less pollutants there would be to, be, to fuck us up. <laughs> so maybe they couldn't get away with chemtrails and shit like that if they had to tell us what they're putting in the air and why. <laughs> I've heard all kinds of different stories about chemtrails lately. And I'm starting to think the government has got something up their sleeve. <laughs> they're they're up to shenanigans beyond our wildest dreams. Well, some people may not know it, but I, you know, of course, you do remember I come out and support of chemtrails. I believe the, the government is there to protect us. They've got to be doing it for a reason for our good. Yeah, like what? Saving us from sunshine, mister. Oh, I found that. <laughs> but I can't isolate it exactly into it, but it's from 48 <laughs> hours. There's, there is no us, no me and you or something. We ain't partners, Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. But two minutes and eight seconds long, so I'll, go and find, I'll have to find for my own curiosity's sake exactly what it was I was trying to articulate from that point. Yeah, I found it. I found it. I lost it. It was uh, in such a wonderful place. There's something I like about that place where I lost my mind. Yeah, I do that. I do that a lot. But I don't know. We're coming up to the end of in a perfect world. And if there's anything more perfect than Vinny going on a ride along with the sheriff. You're going to videotape, right? You're not going to... Right. Okay. You're... Yeah, we still got a few minutes left. We started late. Yeah. Anyway, uh... I... Listen, I... What? I'm going to stick my head out the window when we're going down the road. I'm going, wee! Is, wee! is there any... Is there any... Wee! Any reason... Wee! Wee! Yeah. Hello. Hey, Can there be I'm any... 
fun. I'm going to be a pig. Look. I, yeah. Well, stop. Is there going to be any way he can tell you, go fuck yourself? You can't go. Well, what gives you the right to ride with him? I don't know. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> well, okay. Am I am I asking you something that's too difficult for you to answer or what? Uh-huh. I don't know what the answer is. I am talking about it. <laughs> Well, what are you basing your question to him on? I'm, Have you ever done this with a cop before? No. I'm gonna, well, I I had a third cousin, I think it was, a canine cop. And hey. Do you have a do you have a computer in front of you, Vinny? Yeah. You know you could go into the local laws of your local area and ask the computer if uh, riding along with the police is a normal thing or not. I would not do that. I would call up Lucas. <laughs> what I said earlier, I said, "Hey, Lucas, uh, you know you've heard about these First Amendment audits and stuff." And uh, I'd start from right there and tell him that uh, I'd, I'd like to spend the day with you, ride along, and you know, in the office and see what you're administrative duties are and talk to you about, uh, you know, what responsibilities you have and how you delegate them and whether or not uh, uh, certain behavior practice by members of your department or uh, perhaps uh, uh, if not stepping over, at least stretching, moving the line somewhere. Do uh, certain procedures apply to certain peoples and me being quite privileged, uh, and I, I can say that absolutely. There's there's some uh, all aspects that I can talk about about being white privileged. Uh, but anyways, there there is a certain amount of that. But yeah, I would ask them things like that, and I would expect my white privilege to uh, preclude any problems of uh, him denying that uh, that request of uh, you know spend the day right along, uh, bring your <laughs> bring your citizen to work day. You know, sponsored by the Van Buren County Sheriff's Department. Yeah, I think uh, people ought to be doing it all the time. I mean, and there needs to be accountability because uh, uh, it, they say it can't happen here, right? But uh, it can. But one day, you know, uh, you're just only accosted occasionally. You're not wearing your seatbelt or maybe going too fast down the highway. And next thing you know, you're being shot at a roadblock because uh, all of a sudden things is well. Well, it sure seems to me like if you add alcohol to that problem. <laughs> in this day and age, uh, well, yeah. in this day and age, Juan Ataco, if uh, you're listening over there, I think uh, that, well, yeah. That's, hey, Juan Ataco. Hello. I, am I being boycotted on the RLM by Juan Ataco? No. Oh, okay. Hey, Juan Ataco. <laughs> I haven't seen him for a while, so oh, I don't yeah. know. Come over here to Real Liberty Media. He's in I don't see. Place. Huh? It's yeah, a, in a, yeah. I don't want to advertise because somebody already felt, followed me over there. I went over there and then we got it. Wow. Where is it? Yeah. So, I, yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to say where it is. Well, good. We have a secret garden that somebody discovered, but. I don't want to know oh, where it is. He knows. He knows. Shh. Mum's the word, <laughs> right, Selma? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, we're we're perspiring together. Yeah, you're perspiring. Yeah, we're perspirators. Okay, you know that's the opposite of conspire. Right? Well, I'm gonna try to write up some notes, so you go ahead and pontificate to the world about all your wild notions. <clears throat> Should I lick my lips before I start this? No. <clears throat> okay, well, I'll have a drink of coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was uh, Vinny Villainy, and I switched over to Vinny Pig because I want to go do a ride along with my sheriff and stick my head out the window and go, Wee! Wee! It would be fun. I know it would be. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's talk about reallibertymedia.com, shall we? Uh, this is. Uh, Right now, it's a perfect world, <laughs> or, or so you might suppose. Flash somebody and me, then me. Now, tomorrow, we're going to have Grammy come along and do some blast off action out of a rocket chair. Gas supplied, I'm thinking. Right? That's at 7 p.m. Wednesday. That's tomorrow. Thursday, flash somebody's back about noon o'clock. Friday, I'm back noon o'clock central time. 
followed by Grammy back again at 6 p.m. Central with the blast off in her rocket chair. And at 10 o'clock Central, I'm messing with you now, Grammy. All time Central. Uh, <laughs> 10 p.m. Central. We've got the Freakers Ball, y'all. That's right. Free. F R E E. It don't mean you get something for nothing, it means being free. We're Freakers, and it's the Freakers Friday. So, what's better than a Freakers Ball, y'all? Come on along. Yeehaw. Somebody's pinging me. I bet it's a bet. It's a bet. Somebody. Well, it wasn't me. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out at In a Perfect World. And I'm up to uh, Friday, given the schedule. And then, of course, the next day, the Shabbat is uh, right there. It's a dark table. It's at noon o'clock central. What are you doing, Saturday, dark man? Dark, of course. Saturday, the same thing. Noon Eastern time. You going to show or what? Uh, I may or may. Well, if you do, I'm going to ride you about this ride along thing. So get to it, mister, and bring back video. I doubt that I get to it. You just bull. Uh, you get you get your damn redneck ass out there and go go ride with some some pork. Yeah, maybe I'll try and, to get it set up for next month or something like yeah, that. And report back to us with full disclosure. Yeah, but I want to do you know proof. Be all Geraldo Rivera and stuff. Verifiable facts. Uh -huh. By God, man, I'm really hungry now. I've got uh, and well, uh, giving me uh, giving Vinny Pig uh, donuts. Vinny Pig, Vinny Pig, eats donuts like a pig pig does. Wow. Okay, so okay. we're at Saturday. We're at the Dork Table Saturday at noon. Uh, that's actually noon Eastern. Then Sunday comes along. And at about it, oh, you sneaky Grimner, you tried to sneak in a few minutes early this uh, last Sunday. But at a quarter to noon Eastern, I'll give you your Eastern time there, mister. We got uh, Grimner coming along and setting up to play some blues for us as we uh, enter into the world of, uh, uh, what is that stuff they do there with the fast fingers flash? What What do you mean? Yeah, the, the trivia stuff. Tell them. Oh, <laughs> typing. Yes, tell tell the listeners all about it. Trivia right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Sundays at noon Eastern. Come on along about 15 minutes early and listen to the wonderful voice of Grimner as he intros the show. Right? Yes, but I'm typing. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so yeah. then we to, to some Grim leftovers. We had that last <laughs> night. Uh, fun. Um. Oh, we should go look at that, shall we? While we're talking about this and that, uh, the Grim leftovers. Oh, yeah, I think I remember what I said. Do you like a Grim news? Then uh, come and get it. Something like that. That's at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern time on Real Liberty. Media. And uh, wow, back to Tuesday already? That's today. So a week from today, we're still in a perfect world right here. Oh, oh, oh. Come on along, I lean. Yeah, hungry for grim news? Come and get it. Ding, 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 ding. Did you have fun? Was it good? Was it delicious? Oh, I had a good time tonight. Did you lick the bowl? No, I didn't lick the bowl. Oh. But I'm running late tonight because I had a, such a miserable half. I don't know what I did to the computer this time. Grimner had to come in and rescue me from disaster. But it got off to a late start. But thanks a lot for doing the show tonight. And I thought that what we were talking about, the laws and shit, that was some pretty good stuff we did tonight. So uh, see you on Saturday, Vincent. Adio. That over and out.